Welcome back in first the snow and now the cold we're at 13 degrees currently and I hope you enjoyed the calmer breeze today because it's already starting to pick up out of the south. That's a sign of windy weather conditions to come for the rest of the weekend. Overnight tonight, it's going to be very cold. Whenever it does turn cold after a snowstorm, we like to alert viewers about slick spots as well as the chance for black ice. Now, most of the major roadways are A-OK, -okay, but that's going to be in particular in parking lots, maybe your apartment complex, and those side streets less traveled. Temperatures dipping down to the single digits, and our rural outlying areas could get even closer to zero. Now, one of the reasons it's getting so cold is because we have over a foot of fresh powder on the ground. That snow reflects the sun's heat back up to outer space and doesn't really blanket in the heat. So after the snow, those nights tend to get colder tomorrow. It's going to be sunny, but it's also going to be breezy. That's the big difference you're going to notice with southwest winds at 15 gusting up to 30 miles an hour at times. Now, even though 30 degrees might not sound too bad in the temperature department, be warned it is going to feel a little bit cooler when you factor in that wind as you plan the rest of your weekend. Overnight wind gusts are going to be around 15 miles an hour as we head towards Sunday morning. Worship services, errands, grocery haul. Could have some things blowing around in the wind a little bit with 20 plus mile an hour gusts at times, especially those country roads peaking at 30 miles an hour. And some of that fresh powder could blow around a bit as you're driving through those rural locations. Overall, the week ahead is going to turn a bit milder with temperatures in the 30s. Not going to melt away much of the snow, but some of those days will at least be above freezing. And overall, this is what we call a quieter weather pattern as we take a big sigh of relief after the historic winter storm. Now there is the chance that we do get just a few scattered flurries late Sunday into Monday. Here's your hour by hour forecast, and we also have our forecast there on the side of your screen. Monday is going to be 32 degrees with snow flurries waking up Monday morning. No accumulation expected, just seeing some very light snow showers. Best case scenario as far as the snow goes, you might have to scrape off your car, but your windshield wiper should be able to take care of it. Through lunchtime on Monday, a quick line of snow showers pushes off towards Seneca and Ottawa counties to the south of Bowling Green, seeing a few light flurries as well. Overall, these are going to be very scattered snow showers. Next four days, you'll see those few flurries in the forecast on Monday. Hope you can enjoy that sunshine on Sunday. It sure lifts your mood up, doesn't it? Mostly cloudy skies on Monday. We do get a bit more sunshine with brighter conditions on Tuesday behind a weak cold front. And Wednesday, we could see a few snow flurries. If you're hoping for another big winter storm, nothing like that on the horizon. As I alluded to, this is a quiet weather pattern in the sense that all of our storm systems are going to be very light. Here's some brighter news before I get to my 10 day forecast. We are approaching 6 p.m. sunsets. I'm sure you've noticed it. Those brighter evenings, a sign that spring is on the way. Our sunset tonight was at 554 and by the end of February, we're going to be at 623. If you're one of those people who's dreading the snow and doesn't really like getting out in this cold, here's some optimistic news for you as we approach the spring season. 10 day forecast that quiet pattern. I just want to give you a heads up those flurries Monday, light snow Wednesday with a clipper, Friday, another week snow chance. All of these are going to be very, very light and scattered. Heading towards Valentine's Day, it is going to be a bit cold hearted with those temperatures down in the 20s, but overall, a few days above freezing with a bit of that snow melting, but overall, the snow going to be here for a little while.